I'm all over the place. It's fine. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another entrepreneur life video i am in my shop i actually just got here i had some packages from amazon i ordered some stuff for my birthday collection and i'm about to open them up now i want to make sure that i have everything that i ordered in my packages which i should um and i'm going to have to take some of the stuff back home because some of the stuff I am going to be having to make at home. So I just wanted to start this video off today while I am here. I'm working. I'm about to open some packages, inventory, all of that good stuff. So make sure you guys are subscribed for more entrepreneur life videos. Make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you are checking out my website. The link is always down below, you guys. Shop my new Smooches collection. Get those Valentine's glosses ahead of time, okay? Period. I am here today to get my hair done, actually, because look at it. It looks crazy. So yeah, my mom is going to give me a little touch up here, and I'm going to wash it. Well, she's probably going to wash it, um, and I'm going to, you know, be looking real fresh. My brows still look nice, so that's good, but the hair needs a little refreshing okay so also today what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be packing up all of my stuff here packing up my hello is me glosses packing up my holiday glosses that i have left here um packing up my squeeze tubes i have lashes i have lip oils i have lip scrubs i have all these things so i'm going to be packing all that stuff up because tomorrow my mom and i are going to be going to this vendor event so i'm going to try to take as much stuff as possible um, I have some glitter tubes over here. Just going to be taking stuff that's already ready. I decided not to make any Valentine's glosses or make any body scrubs or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to take what I have already made and what I already have on hand. And you guys have a lot of lashes. So definitely, definitely, definitely going to be taking all of the lashes with me. So hopefully this event is going to be really cool. There's supposed to be some celebrity guests in the building tomorrow. So I am going to be including that footage in this video because might as well, right? Um, well, you know what? I am, I think I'm going to vlog separately because I am supposed to be posting a video tomorrow. So I might edit this video up, post it tomorrow and then vlog tomorrow. And that'll be for next week. Yeah. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Don't you guys love how you're involved in this decision making process with me? <laughs> Anyways, so I have this huge box right here from Amazon and then I also have this box right here So I'm about to get these boxes cracked open real quick. My mom is actually on her way Back up here. She had to run out. She's out running errands and stuff. So She is not here at the moment I honestly woke up a lot later than I thought I was gonna wake up today. So I was just like, okay, well, whenever I get up, I guess that's when I'm going to go out. Okay, so the first thing that I ordered was some more coconut oil. This is a must. I am looking for coconut oil in bulk, so I'm going to be trying to find coconut oil in bulk at some point in time because I do buy a lot of these. Not a lot, but like... I get them quite often. I usually buy them in twos, but I just bought one not too long ago. And I wanted to make sure that I had enough for when I'm ready to start working on my birthday collection. So I went ahead and got another one of those. I also picked up some sweet almond oil. So I have actually never used this product before. I'm gonna be doing some new products for my website and I definitely wanted to include sweet almond oil in those products. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I have some gold rose water here. So this is gonna be for one of my new products as well. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm doing with this, but coming very soon. And then what else is in here? What is this? What? Wow, they just put these in a bag like this? Wow, okay. All right, interesting. I didn't know it was gonna come like this, but that is 100% fine. So I got these little clear lip balm tubes here because I am about to start making some lip balms. You guys have been asking, so many people have been asking, especially my men out there, they want handmade lip balm. They're tired of buying the dollar chapsticks from Walmart or whatever else. So they literally just put these in this bag like this. That's kind of weird. But um, yeah, so I got 50 of these. So I'm going to have to figure out how I want to store those because that is just 
all over the place if you ask me so that's all that was in this small box right here so let me grab this big box from over here oh god it's so heavy oh i definitely should put this on the floor i'm sitting here looking like is there a stain on my shirt i think there is y'all listen i wear work clothes here every single day and when i say work clothes i mean t-shirts and sweatpants t-shirts and sweatpants that i don't mind getting dirty because when it comes to making gloss and making sugar scrubs and all kind of stuff it gets really messy okay and there's always stains on my clothes and everything so i literally just have clothes that i wear up here to work in that is one thing that i would highly recommend having certain outfits that you don't mind wearing while you're working because you are going to be getting some stuff dirty okay okay we got hella bubble whatever in here that's a lot okay so i got this humongous thing of aloe vera gel right this is 128 fluid ounces um and this was like maybe like 27 dollars i think on amazon i was just comparing the prices because i got two small aloe vera things they were like this size oh cha dropping stuff i had got two aloe vera gels that were about this size in the past when i needed it the first round um when i was making my glow drops and stuff like that and it was like like 12 dollars for two bottles which was like eight ounces or something like that and it's just like eight ounces and i can get 128 ounces for like 25 26 dollars 27 dollars something like that so i was just like this just doesn't make any sense at all okay so i'm just gonna get the big one because i'm gonna be doing a lot of products with this for the spring and summertime so went ahead and stocked up on that okay also here i have some um gold leaf flakes so I am going to be doing some products with some gold leaf, you guys. I'm very excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. What else do I have here? This is opening up at the bottom. So we have, what is this? <laughs> lavender water. This is lavender water. So I got my gold rose water. I got lavender water. And I also have my jasmine water. So new products coming you guys i don't know if you could put two and two together i'm not telling you exactly what it's going to be but just know we have lip balms coming we have some interesting new products with some aloe vera gel and waters and then i also have some universal bombs coming so i got the bigger bomb so this is going to be real fun you guys oh i'm excited these are super cute so i just got five of these to start out with because i'm going to be experimenting with new products experimenting i love experimenting i got some organic beeswax pellets so this is what i'm going to be using for my lip balms and my universal balms it's good for treating eczema dry cracked skin acne rashes boils inflamed skin lips psoriasis sunburn dermatitis rosacea shave burns and more so i was really looking for a good beeswax base for my lip balms and my universal balms and this just seemed like the best one and it's affordable as well so yes i got those and then oh i got some containers i guess they're in these boxes here hella packaging that i have to open up where are my scissors i'm sitting here trying to use keys here are my scissors let's go ahead and get this opened up hello hello it's me Sheesh. Okay. Oh, they're all. What is this? What? Oh, I'm like, hello. That is so crazy how they have these wrapped up. So these are my spray bottles here. Where are the tops? <laughs> so confused about that. Oh, here we go. So they have this all individually wrapped up in here. Oh, my stomach is rattling, y'all. I'm so hungry. Me and my mom are about to go have lunch when she gets back. These are super cute. I'm obsessed. So these are my bottles. Gold, of course. Gold and white. So I'm very happy with these. Ooh, they're so pretty. 
So yes, you guys, that is all that I have in this package right now. I got two sets of the bottles. So yes, that's it. One tip that I can give you as an entrepreneur, go on Amazon, find things that are affordable, find things that look nice that you can purchase for your business and do your research like research different brands research different companies find different things because you never know what you might find online i hate when people are like hey where did you get this or hey where did you get that or what's the link to this like yes i'm telling you guys i got all this stuff from amazon but i'm not about to sit here and put all the links in the description box for you when you can easily go to amazon and look these things up yourself if that is what you want to do that is one thing about being an entrepreneur if you are serious about this if you really want to be an entrepreneur you will take yourself seriously and you will go out and get that information yourself you will not sit here and wait for someone else to give you the information and that is just facts okay you will not sit here and wait for me to respond to you or wait for me to post a link or whatever you will go out and try to find this stuff yourself so that's just my little my little tea for today do your research and do everything that you need to do don't wait for anybody to start your own business like you cannot wait until somebody gives you the information like nobody is out here handing you the information okay i just wanted to drop some gems for y'all today i had to sit and do my own research sitting on amazon for hours searching for exactly what i need and that's because i'm serious i definitely know that i want to do this and when i need something i need to find it Ooh, nice when you're working with new products you have to do your research on these products and read up on them and just make sure you know what exactly you are putting into your product and while we are on that topic oh my god what is this video turning into y'all need to really list out the ingredients that you are putting in your products on your website like your products need to have a product description because i have been to so many websites where i'm looking at y'all's lip gloss and y'all are not telling people what is in your product you're not saying what kind of oil you're using you're not saying what kind of flavoring you're using well sometimes you do say the flavoring but i'm like y'all gotta have that all listed out on the website like we need to know what this is what it's gonna smell like what is in here because i can use coconut oil in my products and someone will be fine but what if someone's allergic to nuts what if someone's allergic to almonds and I'm putting sweet almond oil in my lip gloss and I don't list that in the description box and this person does not watch my YouTube channel or whatever to see me making lip gloss, to see me mixing and everything, talking about what I'm putting in the products. You don't have those ingredients listed on your website. That sounds like a lawsuit, okay? Like that sounds like if someone has an allergic reaction to this, they can be like, she did not have the ingredients listed on here. But then again, it's just like, as a customer, if you do have allergies, you need to be looking out for stuff like that. But you don't wanna miss out on sales because you don't have the ingredients listed and people are like, what is in here they're trying to contact you trying to ask you what's in it or whatever trying to make sure that they can use your products i list out all of my ingredients on my website like every ingredient that i'm putting in there i'm listing it out and even like if i'm using an ingredient so say i'm using my liquid color for my lip gloss I'm putting the ingredients that that liquid color has inside. Like I just copy and paste it from the website and I'm putting it in my description just so that people can see like all the ingredients, all of that stuff, whatever's in there, they're gonna know what's in it. I'm trying to be on the safe side. I want people to know everything that is in the product beforehand up front. They have that knowledge at their disposal. Like that information is readily available for them. They can do their research if they need to further research something to see if they can use it or whatever. But I like to just do everything on my end to make sure that all of the ingredients are listed. And that is very, very, very important, especially when you are making products at home. Even when you're not making products at home, you see like we have to have all of these like ingredients listed out. We have to have everything, like all this information that's required on products that are being packaged in a factory or whatever on a larger scale. So just imagine like we need to do the same thing. We need to make sure that we are putting all of those ingredients in our description. So I don't know where this video is going. I literally just started unboxing stuff and now I'm talking about tips for an entrepreneur. But listen, the information is here for y'all. It's good for y'all. So like I said, my mom is on her way back. We're gonna have lunch. I'm about to clean up this stuff, organize where I'm gonna put all this stuff pack up the stuff that I'm gonna take home. I'm gonna make the bombs at home because I have to, you know, melt this wax and everything. I don't have a stove up here where I can be melting and working and doing all of that. So I'm gonna take 
my universal balm containers my beeswax my sweet almond oil my coconut oil and i'm gonna take my um lip balm tubes home as well so i just wanted to bring this stuff up here and unbox it with you guys and then i knew that i was gonna have to take some stuff home to work on that but that's fine i don't even know when i'm really gonna work on these um i have this is all the stuff that i needed for my birthday collection i do have new tubes coming in those are gonna probably be here closer towards the end of this month um beginning of next month maybe and then i'm waiting for my pigments that's what i'm waiting for the pigments that i got from tkb trading i'm waiting for those to come in those were shipped out so i should be getting those soon and then i'll be able to start actually working on my birthday collection so i'm excited i hope you guys are ready for this birthday collection it's my first birthday collection so i'm super excited i think everything is going to turn out amazing so yes i'm so happy that i'm going to be able to take you guys on this journey with me as i'm making everything i really need more storage y'all i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do about this storage situation because i don't have room like where like where am i gonna put this like i do not have space for this stuff like that's the only thing i don't have space in here for storage um we are working on the other room so there's another room in here that we're using right now to store things but we're going to organize it and kind of turn it into like my office and my packing and shipping station so that i don't have to have that stuff in here because this is supposed to be the boutique area where you come in you can shop make your purchases um so it doesn't look good when i have all of my like packaging stuff in here all of my shipping stuff in here so i'm gonna have my office back here and that is where i'm gonna pack and ship my orders i'm gonna print out all my slips and everything and that's where everything is gonna be stored so it'll work as an office but also a lab where i will be mixing all of my stuff up as well so i need some sort of like storage unit system i think i found one on amazon that i really like that i want to get I'm just not sure if it's going to be too big or not. So I'm going to have to do my research into that to see if I can make that work. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to come back later once I start packing up all of my things. I will talk to you guys later. So my hair is done. I am sitting here. I just packed up my Hello To Me glosses, but I had a few of them that... We're in squeeze tubes and I don't have the labels on the squeeze tubes. So I'm about to put some labels. So this is how I organized my inventory when I did my grand opening because I had all my glosses made at home and I was transferring everything from home to my physical location. So I literally just took these large freezer bags because I had no other way really to kind of keep everything organized. And I just wrote on them with a Sharpie what the name of it was. And I put all of the glasses in there like that. And that was easy for me to keep up with. That is uh, something that has really been working for me. Just keeping everything. Um, I keep them inside of a drawer. Like all of my Ziploc bags, I keep them inside of my inventory drawer that I showed you guys that I have in here. And whatever doesn't fit on my display, I will keep in these plastic bags inside of my drawer just you know for easy storage easy access so right now what i'm doing is i'm just putting labels on my squeeze tubes because i have my smudge labels on here but i never put name labels on the squeeze tubes because i just didn't i didn't want to put them on the cap i didn't know if i really wanted to put them on the back but i've just decided recently to just put them on the back because when people get squeeze tubes they don't know what color they have sometimes they forget or whatever so there we go just putting it on there like that and putting them back in the bags and sealing them up. I only had a couple of colors that actually even still had squeeze tubes in stock. So I'm just doing that. Hello It's Me was the star of my Hello It's Me collection. So I made so much Hello It's Me. So that is why even after selling so much Hello It's Me, I still have so much left. Like, oh my gosh, I did not realize that I made that much but i was like this is gonna be the star so i'm going crazy this is my color it was crazy if you guys don't know my hello is me collection is all named after people in my family so hello is me was my color because i'm always saying hello it's me and literally i made so much of this stuff at the beginning it was actually insane how much i made like crazy what 
You're closing the door? Are you filming? I'm filming. I'm just vlogging. I'm just, you know, you doing know. stuff. Well, what are you doing? You about to be banging around? Hey, y'all! <laughs> that is so dumb. Hey, y'all. So, anyway, yes. Hello, it's me. It's my color. And I'm putting all of my labels on right now for these squeeze tubes. And then I also put the sample one. Ooh, I put my little sample. This is the sample for Hello, It's Me right here. So I just put this inside of the bag as well. Make sure the cap is on there really good. I'm just sitting here like, sheesh, I'm gonna have to update all of my inventory. Once this event is happening, I think I'm just gonna update it tonight and take all of the gold tubes away because those are not gonna be restocked. So I'm like, yeah, maybe I can just take all the gold tubes away because I'm trying to sell all of those tomorrow. I think that's what I'm gonna do so that I don't wait until two people are trying to buy the same gloss at one time. Girl, why does this have a <laughs> Why does this have a label on both sides? Girl, you know what? That is foolishness. That's what happens when you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to do everything by yourself and you're up trying to get stuff done and you forget that you already put a label on that one. Like, what is happening here? Ciao. A waste of a label, y'all. A waste of a label. <laughs> I am genuinely dying right now. That was like the funniest thing that I have seen all day. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Please don't let it be any more like that because I cannot live with wasting labels. That is crazy. So I'm gonna take all of my lip oils with me. I got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to take here. Almost done here. Almost done. And then we have crystals. And we have a few crystals left at the moment. So we're gonna try to get rid of those tomorrow as well. Okay, so that was the last squeeze tube that I need to take care of. So I just have my inventory drawers right here that I slide into my little drawer thing and I just keep all of these in here like that. And then I'm gonna come back here have a lot of pout here, so I'm gonna take pout with me. Ocean can come. I have so many glosses, y'all. Crazy. So I am taking my acrylic organizers as well, but I have lots of pout, so I'm gonna put pout. I don't have a bag for pout, but I'm gonna put it in one of these other bags that's empty because I'm sold out of boss teams and glamour at the moment. Um, so if anyone orders, I would have to make it, which is fine. But like I said, I'm only taking things that are made. So I'm gonna put all of pout in here. So pout is going in. Oh, that needs a label. I'm trying to make sure everything has labels on the bottom. So if it doesn't have a label, I'm gonna add a label. I have lots of pout. I made lots and lots of pout. So, to make sure pout is ready to go. Let's see, I should have some labels for pout actually somewhere. I only need one, there has to be one. I have made so many sheets. Oh, here we go. I have made so many sheets of labels because it's like you might need to make labels for like two glosses or whatever but it's just like you can't keep running this through the printer <laughs> so i mean you could but i don't know i just like to get everything printed at one time so i was just like you know trying to make sure oh lord and then this don't want to lay right i'm always trying to make sure that i am printing 
what I need. So I would print like full sheets of like just my popular colors or whatever. Okay, this label is messed up. I have labels for all of my colors. It just depends on how many of each label I need. That's how I print them out. So I usually don't have to print labels a lot, only when I'm doing new collections and stuff like that. That's when I'll have to restock with the labels. That's good. We're in there. Oh, y'all have lots of pout. That's a lot. So we're gonna try to get rid of those tomorrow. So pout is ready. And then there's these glitter tubes. So I'm gonna put all the glitter tubes, uh-oh, knock this stuff down over here. I'm gonna put all of my glitter tubes in one bag. So this is royalty, making sure I have all of the labels on here. Then we have Hunter, Oyster, and Ocean here. I also have one Ocean over here. Then I have all of the matching samples. Oh gosh, Cupcake is also in this collection, but Cupcake definitely sold out. So, if anyone orders, I have to make it, because I don't have it made already. All right, so here are my glitter tubes. I have a lot of inventory, y'all. Oh, I forgot to put this little sample inside a pout. Ooh, it's so heavy. So this is all of my lip oils, lip scrubs, lash adhesive. I don't even know how I'm gonna pack this stuff up. We haven't even gotten into the holiday glasses yet, y'all. I'm just like, I have so much stuff. All this is staying, like I'm not bringing any of that. I'm literally just bringing glosses, lashes, lip scrubs. Lord have mercy, some of these don't have labels on them sitting here checking my own self okay with the inventory because sometimes i will like when i have stuff over here that's inside of boxes y'all can't see anything that i'm doing right now so when i first made inventory and i first you know got into actually making the labels for the bottom of everything I didn't put it on every single item and then I was making more stuff and adding to my inventory so I don't like to waste labels so I'm not putting labels on things unless things are actually being ordered because I can use those labels for something else you know what I mean so that's the only reason why some of these things in here don't have labels on them but I'm gonna go ahead and put labels on everything because I don't know what people are gonna buy tomorrow and I don't want to be sitting here trying to bring labels with me to put on stuff that people are buying. Like, no, that's just too much. So no, we're not doing that. We're just gonna make sure everything has labels on them ahead of time. Oh, that already has a label. Lord Jesus. that right on back in there until I need that to make sure all of, see none of these have Ooh, oh some of them do girl see that's what I'm saying some of them just get looked over or whatever my mom is gonna be looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm gonna be like girl I don't know how to pack all this stuff up now don't know how to do this. It's too much. So now I'm getting into lashes. I said that 
I was not gonna be bringing any glow drops or anything like that with me. This is a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're taking everything? I was gonna take glosses, lashes, all these lip scrubs and stuff that I have and lip oils made already, but this is freaking a lot. Baby, this is a lot. <laughs> Got these. Okay. I think that's really it with that. So next, I need to be over here tackling these holiday glosses, which are here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do have bags for these holiday glosses. Yes. So we're going to pack all these up. I'm coming over here now to fill up these. So we got my toast, tester, toast, toast. Slay, slay, slay. Okay. Oh, and I still have two over here. Which ones do I have? There were only two more glosses that I had behind my table in my little inventory section that couldn't fit on the display. So, hopefully, after tomorrow, none of them will be up here. <laughs> none of them. Y'all, I made mean, so many holiday glosses, and I'm just like. I did not know that I was going to have this many left at this point, but I'm like, I really didn't make a lot. Like, I've been making gloss in large batches, so I tried a new approach with this birthday collection, so I'm not doing a huge batch for the birthday collection. Like, the birthday collection glosses are going to be super, super, super limited edition. I did not buy that many tubes, so it's gonna be really like a first come, first serve. Everything is gonna be made to order. I'm gonna make my personal set of them, and then I'm gonna make my brand ambassadors a few things, but other than that, everything is gonna be filled to order. Whoever gets it, gets it. At this point, okay, two of my holiday glosses are sold on out, which is great, to be honest. Holly didn't have a bag, Holly, you're smooching. Girl, smooching sold out, we need smooching. Holly, where's Holly? I don't know where our Holly bag is, so we're just gonna use the hot cocoa bag, even though it's Holly. I thought that was sold out, y'all. Sold out. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this with me. I'm just putting these inside of this box here. Hoping that it's gonna be okay. to put I'm about to put this stuff back in there <laughs> little bubble stuff to keep these things safe in here because I don't have time I'm just taking certain packs that I have right here just to use for my display so I can just have these like sitting out you know I'm gonna take those so I have one full bin for lashes here lashes and other products over here and then I have one full bin for 
all of the lip oils, lash adhesive, all of that stuff. I need to bring all of my packaging materials, all of my holographic bags, all of my organza bags, all of my business cards, all of that good stuff. Gotta be prepared. Cause who knows how many people we gonna meet tomorrow. So I'm gonna have all the business cards ready to go. I need to take the iPad. Ah, so many things. Yo, popper shops are no joke, okay? Like, oh, that looks like so much fun. Yes, it's fun. But it's a lot. I mean, you have lots of inventory. I gotta take my stickers with me. I know I have a box down here with more business cards. I'm trying to be prepared. Yes, so I'm gonna fit whatever can fit back in here. We're gonna fit those back in here. And then I'm gonna put the rest in my bag. All right, so business cards. Gotta take my card readers. I actually have a case for these. This is the first time I'm gonna actually have to use this case. So that comes in handy. And this just fits the big one that I use. So this one, it fits that. And then I can also put the one that goes into the um, headphone jack. I can put that one on this side like this in the little pouch here. And then just zip that on up. That makes life a lot easier. Thank God for that. Can't leave that. Gotta get these transactions, people. I'm gonna bring these just in case people buy a lot of stuff, like lots and lots of stuff. I don't know. I'm just trying to be prepared. I don't know what people are gonna be buying. And then I'll bring one bag of these. So I have my special holographic ones and then I have a bunch of bags of these other regular bags. So I'm gonna bring those as well, just in case. And I think that's everything. Oh, the last thing that I want to do, I wanna pack up some of these. Um, some of these lip lippies, tester lip lipstick things, lip wands. What do y'all call them? <laughs> Re not reusable, but girl, I don't know. The sample lip lip wand things. These things that I use for people to try on the lip glosses. I'm all over the place. It's fine. <laughs> But I'm gonna put them inside of a plastic bag. Will they fit in this plastic bag, girl? Girl, I don't know. It should fit, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yes, perfect fit. Okay, so. This is pretty much it. I'm gonna try to organize the space a little bit. There's my scissors that I've been looking for for five days. It's just crazy madness right now, okay? So, I'm gonna go because <laughs> this is madness at this point. And I need to organize all this stuff to be ready to put into the car and my life is all over the place right now. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you for preparing for this event with me. I am super excited. I am going to vlog tomorrow so that you guys can see how the event turns out. Hopefully it turns out amazing. Hope for the best, hope for the best. Look at my baby hairs. My little edges is laid and slate. Okay, hair is popping. All right, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below for more Entrepreneur Life videos. Comment your website down below so that I can check it out. And I will see you guys in my next video.